Hello everybody. It's early morning out in the greenhouse this uh, morning and uh, it's a little bit cool but uh, not too bad. I'm out checking on some of the plants I've got uh, out here started. Uh, hadn't been able to post a video in uh, a little while. I've uh, been pretty busy with the transition of uh, the sale of my company uh, that I work for. Uh, that's just about to be over. Uh, two weeks uh, from yesterday will be the official close date. Uh, decided not to uh, pursue a career with the new company. Uh, that's my personal choice. Uh, uh, me and uh, Gina's talked about it and uh, we've uh, decided to start our own business. Uh, scary in, in some ways, but uh, it also uh, is what we've always dreamed of doing. Uh, going to be able to uh, have a lot more time to concentrate on things that matter the most to us, uh, homestead and gardening, uh, raising a lot of our own food. Uh, I'll share more in the detail in the future about our business that we're starting and uh, and it's going to uh, have a lot to do with uh, our homestead and uh, and all and uh, between uh, working on getting that going and uh, the added workload at, uh, at my job uh, with the sale and all, it's been pretty busy and hadn't been able to update. There's a lot of things that I haven't been able to get going this year. Uh, just uh, time-wise, uh, skip some of the early spring crops that I usually plant. I uh, wanted to concentrate time on uh, getting this business going and all, and and I have got tomatoes going. Uh, let me show you a few things we've got. Uh, tomato varieties I've got. Uh, got beef steak, mortgage lifter, uh, Rutgers, uh, homestead tomatoes, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, let me see if there's any others I missed here. Uh, there's uh, a couple of cherry tomatoes over here. Uh, planted 72 this year. Uh, about it's about average of what I do every year. Uh, the uh, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, have uh, just started to put on their first true leaves. Uh, got some over uh, left there that I still haven't germinated. Uh, they were some old seeds, so they may not uh, do any good for me this year. Got a couple of rows of onions out uh, in the garden planted. Uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, boy, they had a slow start uh, with the cold, cool weather we had. Uh, just uh, took them a while to really get going. But it uh, looks like they're going to put on some growth now, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good crop this year kind of hard to focus on there but you can see kind of to the uh, left center there uh, carrots are starting to come up I've had these under uh, boards uh, to keep them moist and uh, just noticed yesterday that a couple of them were sprouting so I've removed those boards now uh, we got a little shower yesterday so that's really gonna help them out uh, getting the rest of them germinated for me We've got about a five foot row of radishes here I'll be going in and thinning these out here pretty quick Strawberry beds starting to come alive uh, this spring. I went there and added some uh, rabbit manure and uh, some other fertilizer and uh, wanting to get these things off to a good start. Girls out here enjoying them some uh, watermelon this morning. Got some new additions here on the homestead this year. I've got six new hens here. Now let me unplug that light and you can kind of get a better idea. There we go. Uh, but these are uh, our newest additions. Uh, they're, uh, I guess, about a week old now. Uh, we picked them up last uh, Monday, I believe. So they're about a week old. A little bit nippy this morning. Uh, Temps down about in the low 40s with the north wind. And I'm going to get in and out of that coolness, get in here in my shop and do a little work. I'll share more in the future, guys, about the business we're starting and uh, 
and all, but uh, we're going to be living our dream. It's uh, it's been a dream of ours to uh, run our own business, and uh, and it's uh, it's going to be tied so closely to our homestead that uh, that that really excites me. Uh, we've uh, wanted to do this for a long time, and uh, there's going to be uh, uphill battles, up, uphill challenges. Uh, it's not going to be easy, uh, but neither is getting up and going to work for somebody else every day either. Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to get some things done in my shop and let that sun kind of heat it up a little bit and get out in the garden. But uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you all later.